So, you thought I wouldn't notice. You thought you could do an epic burger challenge without me. The one person who has epic videos. So I have gathered four other channels to show you how to do an epic burger. Smoking and grilling with AB. Cookout coach. Lasse food and barbecue. Red's barbecue and pizzeria. We're gonna show you how to do epic. Epic doesn't have to be beef burgers. We're not gonna do beef burgers. We're gonna do anything but beef. In fact, we're not even gonna coordinate our times when we release our videos, because we're men. Men don't release their videos all at the same time. So, you want epic? You wanna leave out epic? We're gonna show you epic, except for uh, you know, cooking with CJ. That was an awesome, awesome burger. That that surf and turf burger you did. I loved it. Anyhow, ugh. you must be punished. Let the games begin. All right. So for my epic burger collaboration with the other four channels, I'm going to be making a chicken burger bacon bun, uh, chicken fried skins on it, and some cheese as well. Sounds easy, but it's actually pretty complicated. So I'm gonna get the camera turned around, and I'm gonna show you guys the techniques on what to do uh, to get this up uh, to achieve a, a proper chicken burger. All right, so what I got here is I have, uh, I actually have a total of nine uh, chicken thighs. I already did, I already did three. So make sure you have a nice sharp knife. Now since I already did three, uh, I'm just gonna go over this real quick with you. This is gonna give you about, it's gonna yield about uh, two and a half pounds of, um, of chicken. Any of you guys that are avid uh, fishermen, and this is very similar to skinning a fish. So it's gonna come down here. You might have yourself a nice boning knife or something that, that bends real good. So, yeah, something that bends. So all you're gonna do, you're gonna take this all this fat off right here. You get the knife in right here, make it flat. Just gonna take all that skin off right there. Take all that fat off the, bot the bottom of the skin. And you guys that do uh, competitions, uh, know exactly what I'm doing here as well, as you guys do this in your competitions. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna fry this chicken up, this, this skin up, and we're gonna put it on top of our burger. Or you can just scrape it off like that. And make sure that the chicken's cold when you do it. So I'm only gonna just do a couple at a time. I already did three, so two of other three here. Paper thin that is, you can almost like see through it. You want it nice and paper thin like that. That's one good one right there. You can actually take the skin completely off and then do it, but it's a little bit e a lot easier to do it like this. All right, let's get the bone out of here. Gonna go down the side. See right there, it's gonna expose the bone right there. Okay, they're gonna come to the top, scrape right down it, and come along. They're just gonna come right along the edge. I like to poke my fit my knife through. If I get it down, poke my knife through, just come all the way out. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take the skin completely off now this time. Alright, so there you go. Got the skin completely off. Lay it flat. Now when you have it off, you just gotta hold one side. Like that. So you can do it two different ways. Either with the skin on, the chicken thigh, or the skin off. You decide. All right, one more time for the bone. Okay, put down the side. You can almost go up underneath. Go to the top. Go out to the other side. And just take a knife under. Go down. See, I don't have a whole lot of meat on that one. To get that little knuckle, I stick my knife up underneath it. Cut it out. Bam. That's it. Put that to the side. All right, so you got the gist of it. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish up these other three and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the skins and the meat. 
Okay, so this is what I'm doing with the chicken skin right here. I'm just going ahead and I'm just laying it down on a piece of parchment paper. Uh, probably should have sprayed this first, but oh well. I'll, just, I'll go with it. So I'm just going to lay them down nice and flat so it comes time to put them on the fryer or to fry them. It's not going to be all that hard. Dude. Okay, so here I have is my grinder. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get the, uh, the the small stuff out of the way right now. So inside the mixture, before I grind up the chicken, I'm gonna put in, uh, I got three shallots here. Put three shallots, and uh, probably about half a cup of Parmesan cheese. That Parmesan cheese mixed in with the uh, chicken is gonna help absorb some of that, some of that moisture. So let's see, and also uh, two eggs as well. But I'll wait to put the two eggs in whenever I have the, uh, my have it all uh, uh, ground up. All right, so there we go, got the, got the Parmesan done. Okay, now it's time to do uh, these three shallots. All right, so I just got the uh, mixer together. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, the grinder together. If you notice, it looks a little, that's because I just had this in the fridge. I had it nice and cold. Because whenever I uh, grind meat, I like for this to be nice and cold and all the gears and stuff inside here to be nice and cold. Now I'm gonna do I'm just gonna cut up the uh, chicken. I'm gonna put the bowl up underneath and I'm gonna grind it up. Now some of y'all may not want, want to hear me say this, but this grinder, I got off of, you guessed it, eBay. Got off eBay. It was really inexpensive too. And whatever bowl I put here, I will be uh, wiping the bottom of it before I put it to the fridge. Some of y'all get on to me about it. I've never food poisoned anybody. I have it. I have no plans on it. I clean everything up very thoroughly. All right, so I'm gonna start this. I'm not gonna talk while this is going because it's extremely loud. I mean, this sucker is just loud. So here we go. Okay, so now it's time to make the mix. That's about two and a half um, pounds of ground chicken. Gonna add the raw shallots to there. The reason I like to do raw shallots, or you can use onion, but shallots are lower in carbs. But I like, um, sh um, I like doing them raw because as you bite into it, you might get a little hint and a little bit of crunch of that onion, and it is. So now we're gonna do two eggs. And here's that Parmesan cheese. That's all I'm gonna need for spices right there. I'm gonna do about two tablespoons. There you go, about two tablespoons of, uh, that's incredible. Seriously, that is all you need. I'm just gonna mix this all around. And I'm going to let this sit in the refrigerator overnight. I'm gonna let these all these flavors just sit here and just chill out and, and blend together. All right, there you go. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so now we're going to do the bacon. This is for the bun. Just take a big pack of bacon and we're just gonna cut it in half. Some parchment paper. Here, here. All right, let's start getting this thing weave. All right, so over here, I put one on top. So I'm gonna start off underneath, on top. And if a little bit hangs over on each side, that's really probably ideal. You kind of want them to hang over like that a little bit because it's gonna shrink as you have it on the grill. put a piece of parchment paper over this and I'm just gonna fold it all together so tomorrow when I put it on the grill it just all just lay it all out together all at one time so it stays together all right
Uh, so before I get started on this cook, this is the next day. Let me talk about the other four channels I'm doing this collaboration with. Uh, first off is uh, Cookout Coach. I really like uh, Cookout Coach. I saw him out to do this, this epic um, uh, collaboration with uh, a non-beef burger. Uh, this guy, he's, uh, he's starting to do competitions. In fact, his very first competition, he got second place chicken and third overall on chicken, which is very impressive. Um, and uh, he has a lot of talent and he makes some really good dishes. In fact, I already know what he made because I already watched his video because I'm making this on Saturday morning. So, uh, so as soon as I get this made, I'm going to be pretty much going to be put, post this thing public. <sighs> Uh, the next one is going to be Last Day Food and Barbecue. Well, he's from Sweden, and almost everybody that subs to me has heard of him or have seen him. But if any of y'all that haven't uh, seen Last Day Food and Barbecue, and also Cookout Coach, uh, go ahead and go over to their channel and subscribe. Trust me, you'll thank me. These guys are top notch. Uh, Last Day, uh, he puts out, uh, he does, um, he builds his own uh, grills. He, he he's done picanha. He's done everything. He's done stuff I've never even heard of, and he's over there in Europe. Fantastic guy. Next guy is smoking and grilling with AB. Look, this is one smooth dude, and he makes he is a he is a thumbnail maestro. He makes some fantastic dishes, and his thumbnails are even better. I mean, actually, his food's really good too. Really good. But y'all go check him out. Next one is going to be Red's Barbecue and Pizzeria. Uh, Red is a Marine and he's been uh, stationed over in Brazil and he has an innate knowledge of Brazilian culture and Brazilian food. So Red has paired with a, um, a couple called Chris and Roya Giordorno. Um, their son, Matias, he died of osteosarcoma about three years ago. And ever since then, they have been um, uh, trying to find the cure for his childhood cancer. It's very, very tragic, and I want to make uh, sure that you guys know and are aware of this child, this this, uh, this childhood uh, cancer. So what they've done, they have actually have set up a fund, um, and I'm going to post a link down below if you'd like to go and check out Chris and Roya Giordano uh, Fund for the osteosarcoma cancer, which is a childhood cancer. It's uh, teammatias.org, uh, but I will put the official one down below in case I'm saying it wrong. So teammatias, N-A-T-H-I-A-S. So go and, uh, and look at this uh, great foundation and try to find the end for childhood cancer. Let's get to cooking this. <music> Okay, now that this is done, um, I put this where all the grease is going to kind of gather in the back there. Because now it's time to do the uh, chicken skin. See how quick they, uh, they uh, crisp up like that? Like a little potato chip. Bam, almost immediately. Put some, uh, put some, uh, it's incredible on there. Now it's time to get the chicken burgers on. Uh, still gonna use this bacon grease, gonna smear it around, and I'm gonna set the, uh, the burgers down on the griddle. Gonna hit this with some more, uh, it's incredible, on the burgers. All right, so quick tip when it comes to chicken burgers. I like to cook chicken burgers. Well, first off, I like to use the chicken thigh meat because it's a lot more juicier and just a lot better to use for a burger. It also has nice fat content as well. 
Also, when it comes to a, a chicken burger, you kind of want to treat it like you would like a piece of salmon. If you do like a, a crispy piece of salmon, is you want to cook it on one side till it gets about two thirds, maybe even 80% of the way cooked up on top. Then you flip it over. All right, because you want to make sure that that's nice and cooked all the way up. You flip it over and, and finalize it right there. So you get a nice crust on that one side, and you'll get some of it crust on the other side. But it's still going to be a phenomenal burger. Let's get back to it. So if you look here. The burger is only cooked up about 25% of the way up. You want that whiteness to get almost right up to the top, or it's about right here. Okay. So once you do that, um, you flip it over, and I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And uh, there's very, very little shrinkage when it comes to a chicken burger. So pretty much the size that you put it down as is the size it's going to be. All right, another thing about cooking that chicken burger before I forget, make sure you check your temperature of inside the burger. Even though you cook it mostly all the way up and you still flip it over, still please check your temperature. And make sure it's at least 165, 170. I will cook it to probably maybe, maybe higher than that. Because with chicken thighs, you can actually go to a higher temperature and it's still gonna be beautifully moist. All right, so this is uh, running a little hot, so until it before it gets uh, out of control. I went ahead, I flipped two of these. Check, check the crust out on that one. Look at that. Come on back, look at that one. I can't stress it enough. Go to teammatias.org and help contribute and try to end childhood cancer. And there you have it. This is how you do epicness, boys. By the way, I'm just kidding. Bacon, chicken burger, cheese, fried chicken skins, and bacon. Now the best part, give it a try. See if you can hear a crunch. That is a good, great, excellent, life-changing chicken burger. On a scale of four to 13, four being I'd rather eat my own poo, and 13 being that this is life-changing, this is transformational, this is a perfect 13. Wow, you gotta try this. But I highly recommend this. And also, go check out the other channels, Smoking and Grilling with AB, uh, Cookout Coach, Reg Barbecue and Pizzeria, and last but not least, Last Save Food and Barbecue. Thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, I'll see y'all next week.